हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल बी शोइंग यू दैट हाउ बेसिकली यू कैन कन्वर्ट ए सीएसवी फाइल व्हिच इज कॉमा सेपरेटेड वैल्यू फाइल टू अ जेसन फाइल एंड डाउनलोड दिस इनसाइड द ब्राउजर दिस विल बी बेसिकली अ नोड जेएस एंड एक्सप्रेस प्रोजेक्ट हियर यू विल सी ऑन योर स्क्रीन दिस इज अ लाइव डेमो ऑफ द एप्लीकेशन व्हाट वी विल बी बिल्डिंग हियर देयर विल बी अ चूज फाइल बटन एंड यू विल बी एबल टू सेलेक्ट योर सीएसवी फाइल सो वी विल बी कन्वर्टिंग दिस सीएसवी फाइल लेट मी शो यू यूजर्स डॉट सीएसवी यू विल सी this contains uh, two columns first name last name it is separated by comma here so that's why it is called as comma separated value we can has as many names out there you will see that i can add so these this is basically the csv file guys now we need to convert this to a json file so what we can do is that i can simply upload this file users.csv i can select this file and then if i click download json file you will see this json file will be downloaded as a attachment if i open this file you will see it is automatically converted to an array of json objects you will see each object has two properties name and age name age name age you will see that basically this is if you check the you will see that this i think it is this this file i think users.csv so it is successfully converted you will see that you will see name age so whatever oh, sorry this is uh, uh it is taking the column names that we provided inside the code here so we need to change this column name so right where we are providing here so we will see name age country so these three columns need to be there so we need to modify this file here so let me just modify it name age country so whatever you are converting you need to just match these columns so i will just change this so now you can see that it is in correct order you will see that we have three columns name age country so now if i just upload this file here if i again select this click so now you will see that if i open this you will see it is automatically converted you will see this is array of json objects Uh, name age country name age country so it is not uh, mandatory that you specify these columns because uh, we can neglect these columns we just need to provide the data here inside the csv file here so in inside the correct order so now if you upload this file here you will see the columns names will not be there you will see that so basically this will be the express application we will be building here and it will automatically convert this uh, csv file to a json file and we are using this dependency guys which is called as csv2 array if you go to npmjs.com you will be able to get this dependency csv-2 array and uh, all the source code of this application guys i have given in the description of the video you will see it has got 107 weekly downloads it's a very good dependency so you can go to my blog post where i have given all the source code of this application step by step instruction is given so if you want to get all the source code go to the description of this video so now let's get started by building this application so i will simply now delete all this and start from scratch let me just delete this and also delete this so the very first thing you need to do guys first of all you just need to make a node js project and install these dependencies let me just show you so first of all we need the express dependency for our web server and also we need to install csv2 array and we also need to install malter dependency for uploading the files malter is a basically a dependency which is able to upload the files if you search for it you will see it's a very popular dependency for uploading files inside express so we will need this dependency so we have already installed all these so now we can start this uh, index.js file so i will first of all show you the very basic depend uh, uh, example on how you can convert a csv file so we will create a users.csv file and we will have some data here we will take the same example here and uh, you can have any sort of data that you can have let me have and uh, this is basically the syntax how you write the csv file so now you can see we have four rows of data now we need need to convert this to a json object array of json object so first of all what we can do is that we need to first of all define the columns here so whatever column names that we need to have so 
we can we do all uh, this will be name age country that's all name age country and that's all and after this we just need to require basically this dependency which is csv to array so just require this dependency and basically this has this function here inside parentheses you will basically provide the object so here it takes the file name so whatever file name that you need to convert so we will need to convert this file which is there inside the root directory users.csv we will provide this and after this you will provide the column names so column names will be this column names are out there that we configured name age country you will see that and after this you will have a callback function here and basically this callback function will have the array of objects so we will have this we can simply console log this that's all and now if you see uh, automatically you will see that it will print out the array of objects we have the first object name age country similarly second one name age country so now we can save this into a simple file json file for that we can require the file system module we can simply require the file system module and then we can simply say first of all we can convert this into a json object by simply surrounding this json.stringy file and we can simply say array here and then we can use basically the write synchronize method we can write a simple file which is user.json and then we can simply pass here the json object and we can say utf8 as the and then basically our file will be created inside this callback function we have error so here if you now run this code here guys it will now create this file uh, if you run this let me just check out the code here which is required so i think i need to run this code once again so now you can see it has uh, made this file here we can see user.json and if you see here we have created this file user.json here you will see that so in this way guys you can uh, basically we have seen this example and now we can convert this to a uh, express web app where we take the input of the user and we try to upload the file using malter and here we can just change this to an express application we just need to require it at the very top and basically we can make a new app express app and also guys we can make a simple get route so whenever user goes to the home page we can simply load a template we can simply say we can load this template in index.html which needs to be present inside the root directory so we can simply make this file it is saying already exist so yeah so inside this file guys we will have basically a form and here the user will able to upload a this will be a post request and encoding type we need to give multi-part form data and here the user will be able to upload the csv file here so we will be giving the accept attribute so we will only be accepting csv file and this should be required and here we will be after this we will have a button we will say download json file that's all so this is all that we will need here uh, for the form here if you see and now we need to basically make this post request so whenever we upload the csv file whenever we click on this button we will make this post request in the inside this route so we just need to go to file here uh, and here we will make this post request and first of all guys we need to make a public folder and uploads folder and here inside this folder we will be upload just storing the csv uploaded files by the user so just make this public inside this uploads folder and here we will make this directory as static so we will simply say app.use express.static and here we will pass this path public slash uploads and after this we also need to require the body parser middleware guys we are working with forms 
so we need this middleware so just pass this middleware two lines of code here body parser url encoded extended false and also we need to pass body parser json so these two lines are necessary we, we are working with forms here and now we just need to require the malter library so whenever we try to upload files we require this so here we need to have the storage engine so we just need to let the malter library know where to store the files here so i will just copy this code you can refer my blog post i will make this storage variable right here if i paste it you will now see basically we are just telling the malter library where to store the files here we are storing it inside public slash uploads folder we have created this directory structure and after this we just need to make a upload direct variable and we will simply say we will pass this inside the storage option that we created and here inside this post request guys we will be passing this middle where we will only be uploading a single file we will pass file here so this will upload the file to us and we just need to give a name attribute here so just give a name attribute of file this needs to be same here that's all and after this guys whenever your file is uploaded it becomes very easy we just need to uh, just shift this code here i need to shift this code inside this post request so i will simply shift this code and also i need to start this application on port 3000 so you will see that guys we need to replace the path here In, instead of user.csv we will say request.file.path so like this and uh, we also need to give a output file name so output file name we will give date.now and it will automatically generate the file name for us output.json so we need to replace this instead of user.json we will replace this file name output file name so once it is stored guys we will be downloading it inside the browser we will use the download method response dot so this will download this as a attachment inside the browser so now if i open this uh, project guys so we need to start this project you will see it is already in use let me change this to a different port number let me change it to 5000 local host 5000 let me again run this so now you will see if i able to select this and now if you see uh, nothing has happened let me see why it has mm, let me see here csv to array you will see the output file is created you will see we have uploaded this json object let me see guys why it hasn't downloaded this file i think some error has taken place response dot download uh let me just replace this code here and now if i try to run this select this and now you can see that our json file is successfully downloaded and you will see that it, the csv file is successfully converted to a json file and in this way guys you can make this online converter kind of a web application where you convert a csv file into json file using this dependency all the source code guys is given in the description of the video and thank you very much for watching this video and i will be seeing you in the next one